Hello, this is Torio and welcome to Let's Play Spelunky. I do know the game, I have played it before, but I'm not very good at it, so if you prefer, you can view the series as Noob Plays Spelunky. And I will take the default character, since it is the first episode. For those of you who know the game, um, I'm not very good, but for those of you who don't, let's let's give a little bit of an introduction. So, this is a platformer, a very demanding one, and a roguelike one. Um, you can die from one misstep, as you'll probably see very soon. So, um, yeah, I've been playing this game quite a bit to just uh, relax. I only go to the City of Gold once. And that is the goal for this episode, if we can be successful, but I, I really doubt that we can. Um, for example, you see those, for those of you who don't know the game, you see those spikes? Yeah, instant death. Uh, we start with 4 health, we can get more, but um, it's quite easy to lose health in this game. Uh, those bats are especially nasty. Let's take care of them just to be safe. And your worst enemy in Spelunky is yourself. Because if you are too hasty, like I usually am, and many people are, you can just fall on some spikes and die, or get hit, hit by an arrow trap or whatever. Okay, those spiders fall on your head if they can spot you under them. Um, I'll just ignore them for now, unless there's some good gems here. No. And those pots can hold gems, and they can hold enemies, so I need to be careful about that. Mm, and the crates hold items. Oh, that's a pretty good starting item. A boomerang is a weapon. A fairly basic weapon. Mm, however, it is effective. Works like that. Okay, let's be careful. Alright, this is a relatively uneventful one, um, the episode. Also, I did turn off the music to possibly make this... Uh, well to not drown out too much sound. Uh, quite a good haul in terms of money. Um, in the fur we do have 13,000 now, which is not a lot. Uh, do I want to spend a bomb to get three gems and some gold? Mm, okay, sure, I'll do it. Oh, and we got a bonus gem. Okay, so our aim is to get to 50,000 gold. If we can't do that, well, there are ways around it. Basically, we need that money to buy some special gear that will grant us access to secret secret parts of the game. Um, Alright, so that's basically all you need to know if you haven't played this before. And this little pug here um, will give us life. Bonus hit points if we rescue him. You can actually also sacrifice him on an altar to the goddess Kali, which gives better benefits, but is heartless. Okay, that was a pretty good first level. I expected to be killed instantly, just to start the series off. Uh, right, and... Okay, this is an arrow trap. We can trigger it by throwing something in its way. I don't really need to go this way, but uh, there's money. Money is good. And let's explore the level. I do hope we'll get an altar. Oh shit, that's that's what I was talking about. A little bit too hasty, got hit by an arrow trap, and two of my five health is gone. That was quick. But well, fortunately we're still alive. Alright, this here is a snake pit. If we can descend down this pit, we'll, we can get a mattock, which is uh, sort of a pickaxe crossed with a shovel. Um, that will let us um, dig through stuff. And on the left here you can see a shop that sells uh, bombs, climbing gloves and other stuff. That's a compass and a parachute. Uh, we... I am considering buying some of the stuff because we're pretty rich right now. And we will get richer if we have the medic. Um, so, I am considering buying the bombs and uh, the climbing gloves. Also, there's a little secret here. In such a snake pit, there's always... Here, yeah, a mattock. Um, I do prefer the mattock to the boomerang, so I will leave the boomerang if that is... Um, if that is the choice we have. 
Okay, the damsel, so called. It's a woman by default, but uh, the pug is so much nicer. And I can't see any altars of Kali yet, but we will be going back up, so I will not be freeing him yet, so we can possibly use him to sacrifice. Uh, we can whip things, as you have seen already. Uh, so, oh, shit. Mm, that's quite useful. However, the whip is far from perfect. Yeah, I'll get that in time. You just need to do that in the proper moment. And it worked. Because we would have to waste a climbing rope to get out of that bit if I didn't get it right. Alright, uh, there's a bat. Bats are especially nasty because they can attack you from all sides. Well, not from all sides, but uh, when they come in from above, they can be very difficult to counter. And there is no altar on this level. I will actually buy the gloves and the bombs, because we are pretty well off in terms of money. A terrible chill runs up your spine. That means we have spent too much time in the level and the ghost has come. The ghost... Here's the ghost. It's instant death. So let's just exit. Um, the, the ghost can also be beneficial, because... It, um, if it passes through a gem, it turns it into a diamond that is more valuable than other gems. Also, see what climbing gloves do? I can just stick to the wall. Uh, right, there's a narrow trap. Let's trigger it. I could actually destroy it with the Maddox. That could also be a good idea. However, mm, the Maddox has a random chance of breaking every time you use it. So if I can... Uh, Trigger the trap instead, that is good enough for me. Now, can I get up there? I probably should be able to. If I can get into that hole. My climbing... Oh, here it is. That's just 500 gold, but um, we do need to save our money, save our pennies. Uh, oh, there's an altar. See? There's an altar to Kali up there. Uh, we will need to, if we if we do want to sacrifice uh, the dog, if we can find it, that is heartless, but also very very beneficial. Um, then we need to get back up there. Whoops! Oh, that was lucky. Yeah, that 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 was an explosive box. Um, and fortunately, it didn't damage us, even though it could. And some of those skeletons can uh, rise up and defeat you. Death lurks at every corner. Now, this game, by default, has uh, 16 levels. Mm, and then that's, that's the end. However, the proper way to beat the game is actually to unlock the secret. Mm, oh, crap. Turns out the damsel... Or the, the pug, if you prefer, must be in the area that we skipped, the one with uh, the altar. So that will cost us quite a bit of rope to get back there. However, we do have the climbing gloves, so rope is less of an issue for us. Uh, you can pass through those spikes if you just walk on them. However, if you fall on them, you're dead. And by jumping on the rope, you can climb faster. Mm, Alright, let's just deal with this spider because before we go up. So he could be problematic. Or maybe not. Ah, shit. Uh, okay, so the damsel, the pug, should be somewhere in the area above us. Um, I did leave the medic, but... Oh, crap, 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 crap. Okay, we need to hurry. The ghost is here. The ghost is here. If the ghost touches us, we're dead. Where is the damsel? Where's, where's our dog? Did, is it possible that he's not on the level? Maybe he's here somewhere? Okay, we do need to avoid the ghost at all costs, so let's just go around him like that. Ooh, that was so close. Okay, we won't be using Arthur this time then. Because staying alive is more important. Uh, no damsel here. I am at a loss here. I don't know where the dog is. It could have been killed. Crushed, so there's no corpse left, but... Alright, oh, bloody bat. Ah, shit. 
spider got me. Yeah, I didn't think he would get there in time. Okay, we did escape. However, we did not get the dog. That is very unfortunate. And we did not get the Ujat Eye, which is the secret artifact that we do need to open up the game properly. But here's the key. See on the left, uh, it opens a chest containing the artifact. Now this is problematic because if I push this, the, the, the spider will hit me. If I don't push this, hmm, do I have something to trigger? Yes, yes, I can actually throw the skull to hit this uh, box and that's fine all right mm, let's dig through here because those crates contain useful tools like the parachute which is the least useful of those tools however can come in handy sometimes mm, also since we are already here i will dig down to rescue the dog so the spitting snake let's just wait for him to be under us Okay, uh, instead of going back up and all the way around, I'll actually try digging down. We might find some gems on the way. Also, it will be a much shorter route. So, I do need three things from up here. I do need the Maddox, because it's awesome. And I do need the key. Um, let's have a look if the chest isn't in the area. Oh, crap, okay. I need to catch... Oh, here it is. Let's just make sure we're not missing the chest somewhere here so we don't have to backtrack. Um, there's a chest fitting this key. Uh, right, let's throw the key down. And now we need to return for the dog. Now we are spending a lot of time doing that. Um, which is a problem because the ghost will come shortly. And there's the chest. Okay, I'll just uh, drop the dog here, drop the key. I should probably throw... Oh, don't mind, He's, he went down anyway. Uh, right, let's just quickly explore this area. Nothing special, but there's some money. I don't really want to get involved here because the scorpion will attack you. He jumps, and, and here's the ghost. Shit. Okay, I'm too slow when talking. Uh, oh shit, ah, crap! Uh, that's what the ghost does. <laughs> it makes you hurry and die. All right, let's try this one more time. That was... <laughs> this game is very, very frustrating at times because you can die a stupid death. But that was not such a stupid death. An arrow trap is um, something you can expect. I just didn't notice it in time. Um, however, it is also very a very cathartic experience, I find. You die all the time, and you get angry. However, that anger is cleansing. Yeah, right. Come on. Come on, bat. Hmm. Alright, let's forget the bat then. Uh, I'll try to get that gold... Well, try. I'll get that gold, gold bar. Let's just be sure to not jump on the spikes. I could probably be more effective if I was using a controller instead of my keyboard, but... Um, I do not own a controller, and I never felt the need to buy one. Alright, nothing in the pots. It's good to have one... Oh, there's the dog. Okay, good, we do need to get him. That'll give us a little bit more survivability. We could blow this block up, but the bombs are very, very valuable in this game. And a snake. Alright, um, any arrow traps beneath us? No. You should actually always look down if you can in Spelunky. However, you don't always have time to look down. See the ghost from the previous try, previous attempt. Okay. Let's... and we can throw the dog as a weapon. So, so it's actually pretty effective. Now we do have some time left. No, I would need to use a rope to get there. Let's not. Let's just leave the level. Um, much worse hole than in the first one, and the previous one, but... Um... Oh, and there's the altar. 
the altars are very very useful and after you sacrifice you can sacrifice corpses as well like uh, corpses of some of the enemies um, there were those cavemen that chased us they they leave corpses also some some other enemies do if you sacrifice them oh a camera that is an interesting weapon that I don't really find much use for, but it kills bats. See, it stuns regular enemies, well, most of the enemies, and it instantly kills bats. So, until we get something better, I'll just stick with it. Hmm, can get there. Where is the... see? It only aggroed the spider, didn't hurt it. Where's the dog? You can hear the whining that will give a little bit of a heads up regarding where the dog is. He's not up there, is he? I think I already went there. Okay, let's... Oh, see? Instant kill on the bat. And it works the same with the vampires that you can encounter later. Mm, still no dog. Weird. Uh, this trap is already triggered, and the shopkeeper below us sells a shotgun. But uh, I don't want to spend that much money. I'll just uh, bomb this place so we can get to the crate. And possibly find a dog in the area. And here's the dog, alright. I need to bomb this place to get to him. Um, let's check the crate first, there might be something useful. Nope, just ropes. However, um, I will use quite a lot of ropes trying to get back to the altar, so... They will be useful. Okay, we have to be careful here. Oh shit, a scorpion. Scorpions are dangerous because they jump in your direction. However, this one is in the area that we don't really need to go to, so let's just leave him alone. I jumped a bit too early. Fortunately, did not fall. All right. What's the best way to go about that? I'll be back here. And we're back. Oh, only needed to use two ropes. And we got glasses. They are a redundant item. Mm, the Ujet Eye, a special artifact you need to find uh, in the mines. This first area is called the mines. Uh, it actually does the same as the glasses. So, can I get... Okay, I'll quickly... I will quickly buy the spiked shoes because I do like them quite a bit. Um, as I was saying, the spectacles let you see through rock. And there's a hired hand shop. And a big spider. The big spiders are very dangerous, but you can get uh, sticky paste from them. Now, I'm not going to buy a hired hand because they're very likely to get me killed. Although, I actually might because you can sacrifice them on the altars as well. And throw them as projectiles. Hmm. Just in case we get an altar later, I'll, I'll buy this guy. But I will carry him so he doesn't uh, break my uh, progress. Because he might just. Oh shit! Oh, see, he, he does stuff, he's useful. But he is very likely to get himself killed, and if he has something that can actually deal damage, he's very likely to get me killed. Never give them a shotgun or a boomerang or something like that. That's why I am carrying him, just to be safe. Alright. Oh, oh, spider. And bat. So you can throw them there. Oh, sh that, that is what I was talking about. He just damaged me. Very, very annoying. Uh, right, no altar here, but he will carry over to the next level. Just use him properly. Come on. Um, oh, we can use him to trigger the trap, or whatever. Stop breaking pots, you idiot. What was that? What, what damaged me? Did he throw something? Okay. Right, uh, this area is more or less safe now, and there are no altars, so I'll just take, as Noda Lion calls him, Monty, the dog, and go to the exit. The hired hand will come with us. Uh, whilst being a nuisance, he can sometimes be 
um, of help. Oh, there's the key. Do I need to use a bomb? No, I'll just uh, use a rope from down there. Also, this idol. This idol is quite valuable. It costs 5,000 if we can get it, but it triggers a trap, a uh, rolling boulder trap, which is which is problematic, so I will probably avoid taking it. Okay, spider triggered the arrow trap. Oh, a scorpion. Now, we do have the spike shoes now, so the scorpion was killed by our jump in one hit. If we didn't have the spike shoes, he would take two hits to, to be killed. Mm, can we get to the dog? That would cost us two bombs. I would normally do that very eagerly. However, I only have two bombs. And that... Well, that is problematic. Because bombs can sometimes be... Don't take the idol. Don't take the idol. If he takes the idol, we're dead. Well, not dead, technically, but... Hmm. I suppose I could try and get him, but... Mm, I think I'll just leave the dog alone. And there's the altar. Okay, hired hand, please survive. I need to sacrifice you on the altar. Come, come here. Come here. Mr. Hired hand, yes, here you are. Mm, also, oh, see, we need the bombs, because we do need to bomb down to this chest as well. Um, fortunately, we can use the two of them to both get to the altar and to the chest, if we place them properly. Right, and now we place one in this hole. We're down to zero bombs, which is a slight problem. And okay, I will not risk leaving the higher hand to his own devices, because he'll probably get killed. Mm, I'll just run down now and then use a rope to get back up. And we now get the Kapala, which is wonderful. It, um, it gives you health. When you kill enemies, or damage enemies, they leave blood drops. And the blood drops fill the kapala. Oh, right. Oh, shit. I need to use another rope. Um, that's a waste, but we do have a lot of ropes. And there's the Ujatai that does the same as the spectacles. However, oh, spectacles also have another feature that is useful. Um, when you encounter a dark level, they uh, increase your view radius, which is, problem which is uh, helpful. Very helpful on those dark levels. Uh, and let's just leave. I suppose I could kill the bat and fill the kapala a little bit. Right, here we are in the jungle. That is the next area for... Um, for sub-areas here. Those tiki traps are super dangerous. Um, do I want the idol? Well, it is 10,000 gold if we can get it. Also, we, sh we do need to explore most of the level because there's a hidden door somewhere. If the Ujatai that we just got, it's next to our money counter, starts blinking, it means we're close to the hidden door. The door to the black market. Mm, and we do need to get there. We don't have the bombs, unfortunately. I am hoping for a shop or a crate that will give me the bombs. And the dog is down there. That is interesting. Can I get there without getting damaged too much? When I am falling, this guy will aggro and push me off the edge. How do I do that? Can I... Can I do a rope like... Oh, crap. Now, see, I wanted to do the rope downwards, not upwards. Uh, now I remember what combination that is. See? Oh, okay, he missed us. Good. And this is a worm tongue here. That is um, used for entering a special level that we don't want to go to. Right. Let's get rid of that frog. Find a door. The Ujitai is not blinking. So... The black market is most likely not in the area. Oh no, it's blinking. Crap, I don't have bombs. If I don't have bombs... How can I get bombs? It's somewhere here. Oh, crap, the bat hit me. Okay, we need to explore the area and hope for some bombs. If we can if we can get them, that will be good, and so we can access the black market. If we can't, that will be a wasted opportunity. 
Wait a minute, was there something up there or not? If not, I'll just go to the worm. If I can, if I have enough ropes to get back there. Uh, seems like there are no bombs in the area. I sort of screwed myself. I was counting on the shop. Okay, a chill runs up his spine. The ghost is coming. And the black market is here. We do have two ropes left. Let's try to use them and get to the to the worm. For that purpose, we need to. Oh crap! We're missing one. Ah oh, shit! 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 We're missing one block. Mm, all right, let's just uh, let's just run away. We can still get to. Um, okay, I am. Um, I do have the cupola, which is useful, but I am all out of everything else, and we missed the black market. We can still try to, and that's the dark level. Mm, we can still try and get kill Olmec. Oh, that was dumb. I just, I just uh, extinguished my torch. That gave me some more light. But we can still get another torch from those uh, enemies that carry them. Now, if we didn't have the spectacles, our light radius would be much smaller. Okay, leap of faith. Okay. And there's an altar. Good. Okay, we have one health left. That is quite a problem. If we run into any trouble, we're dead. Let's just try to leave this level. Light bug! He's run away. They're wor worth 5,000 gold, which is pretty good. But. Okay, anything interesting in the area? Monkeys. Monkeys are evil. And see, we killed a monkey, gathered some blood, and increased our health. Let's try getting to Olmec. Now, I am very likely to die quite easily. Mm, let's not go there. The Tiki Trap will destroy us. Down here we see the dog, but um, can't really get to him. Okay. We're officially dead. <laughs> That's a stupid situation, see? We can't get up there. We don't have a bomb to bomb through it. We don't have a rope to get up. Uh, that's what happens when you... S Use all your ropes and bombs. Yeah, that was not very smart of me. You do need to keep some. Okay, I will try again. For now, let's just kill ourselves, because there's no way we can exit. Well, there is a very difficult way. Let's try it. We can try and aggro the bats. Then have them... Okay, one of them is dead. Ah, okay, didn't work. I was trying to aggro the bat, get him to fly over there and... And jump off him. However, that, that concludes this run. It was not very successful. At least we did get the Kupala. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode, where we try to not stupidly die. Goodbye.